Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Silvana and in today's video we will do a comprehensive full body yoga class tailored for intermediate level. This complete class is the perfect opportunity to enhance your strength, improve balance and flexibility and to bask in the soothing embrace of relaxation. So whenever you are ready, find a quiet place, roll out your mat and let's get started. Let's start today's class seated on the mat. Finding a cross-legged seat, roll your shoulders back, make sure to keep the spine nice and long, relaxing the shoulders down. Close your eyes, place the hands onto your knees and just take a moment to arrive. Breathing deeply in through the nose and exhale slowly up. Inhale, feel the spine long. Exhale, visualize all negative energy releasing out of your body, melting away. Taking one more deep breath here. Exhale, slowly out. Open your eyes, seated cat and cow. Inhale, arch through the back, open the chest, gaze up towards the ceiling, draw the shoulders back and exhale, hunch, tuck the tailbone under, belly in, let the head drop forward. Inhale again as you open the chest, gaze up and exhale as you round through the spine, cat stretch. Keep on going, two more big breaths here, warming up the spine. Moving at your own pace. Inhale as you open the chest. Exhale as you hunch. On your next inhale, reach both arms over the head, create length. Exhale, create cactus arms, bend both elbows. Inhale, draw the shoulders back, gaze up, feel the chest opening. One big breath here. And then inhale, lengthen the arms again. Exhale, bend the elbows back to cactus arms. Draw the shoulders back, open the chest, gaze up, one big breath. Inhale again as you lengthen. Exhale, bend the elbows, pull the shoulder blades closer together. And one last time, inhale. Exhale to cactus arms, open the chest, big inhale and exhale, release the arms, interlock the fingers behind your back, open the chest one more time, inhale, shoulders back, press the palms together and knuckles down, gaze up to the ceiling and then let your head drop forward, bring the chin towards the chest, keep on pulling the shoulders back, feel the stretch in the back of your neck. One more breath here and release, inhale arms over the head again and then exhale into a seated forward fold, fold over the legs, reach the fingertips far away from you and create length in your spine, keeping the eyes closed, folding over the legs, hinging forward. While folding forward, walk the hands over towards the left side of the mat. Lift the right arm, reach the arm over the head, gaze underneath your right armpit towards the ceiling. Open up the right side body, coming into a seated side bend. Create length, inhale. Exhale, fold forward again. Walk the hands to center. And then walk the hands over to the right side of the mat. Place the right hand next to the hips. Lift the left arm up. Gaze up, opening the chest. Create length in your side body. Make sure the sitting bones stay grounded. One more breath in. And exhale, fold back forward. Seated forward fold. Stay here for one more breath. Relax the head. And then walk the hands towards you, roll the spine up to seated, both arms up, big inhale, long spine, 
exhale, release the arms. Extend the legs out in front of you. And from here, come onto your hands and knees into a tabletop position. Place your hands underneath your shoulders. Knees are hip width apart and hips in line with your knees. Back to cat and cow. Inhale, arch through the back, dropping the belly gaze up to the ceiling. Exhale, hunch, tuck the tailbone under, belly in, gaze down towards the navel. Inhale again, press through the hands, gaze up. And exhale as you hunch, draw the belly button inwards. Keep on going at your own pace. You can close your eyes if that feels good. Connect the movement with your breath. Taking one more breath like this, warming up the spine. And after your next exhale, come back to neutral again into tabletop position, breathing normally. Extend your left leg back behind you and tuck the toes under. Inhale, engage the core. Exhale, press through the hands and press the left heel a little bit further back. Feel the stretch in your left hamstring and calf muscle. Keeping the gaze down to the mat, the neck stays nice and long. Release, bringing the knee back onto the mat, change legs. Right leg long, tuck the toes under. Inhale and exhale, press through the hands, pressing the right heel back. Keep the gaze down to the mat. Neck is long, feel the stretch. One more breath. And release both knees back onto the mat. Walk both hands over to the left side of the mat, draw the left shoulder back and gaze back towards your left heel, breathing into your right side body. One more breath. Release back to center and then to the other side. Make that rib hip connection on your right side, gaze back. One more breath here. And release, back to center, both hands underneath the shoulders. Extend your right arm out next to your ear. Engage the core and take the left leg back behind you for balancing table. Neck long, keep the gaze down towards the mat. Hips and chest square. And then either stay here or bend the left knee, reach back with your right hand and get hold of the outer arch of your left foot and kick into your hand, lifting the foot up high, press the right shoulder forward, keep on kicking into the hand, lifting the left foot up high, one more breath, and release your right hand down, extend the left leg back out, and then swing the left leg out to the left side of the mat, so the left heel comes in line with your right knee. Reach both hands out in front of you, inhale and exhale, let the hips sink back a little bit. Rest the head down, maybe placing the forehead to the mat and keep on creating length in your spine. Let the hips sink a little bit further back. Square the chest. One more breath. And lift the head. Make sure the hands are underneath your shoulders. Inhale, lift your right arm up, twist to your right side, gaze up. Exhale, thread the right arm underneath the left, reach far, bring the shoulder, the side of the head down. And maybe wrap your left arm around the back to find an even deeper twist. Make sure the hips are still lifted in line with your right knee. Try to release the outer shoulder further down to the mat. Close your eyes. Relax the face. Feel the rotation in your lower back. And feel the stretch in your outer right shoulder. Inhale. Exhale. Release. Left hand on the mat. Press through the hand. Untwist. Bringing both knees back down onto the mat, find tabletop position. Center yourself. Extend the left arm out in front, engage the core. And take your right leg back now for balancing table. 
neck long gaze down find that balance keep on reaching through the fingertips pointing the right toes one more breath and then bend your right knee reach back with your left hand get hold of the outer arch of the right foot kick into the hands keep on lifting the foot pull your left shoulder forward square the chest Keep the gaze down. One more breath. And release. Left hand onto the mat. Extend the right leg. Swing the right leg to the outside of the mat. So your right heel comes in line with your left knee. Reach the arms a bit forward. Inhale. And exhale. Press the hips a little bit further back. Create a length in the spine. Try to open up the chest towards the mat. Release the head down, maybe rest the forehead on the mat if the head reaches. Keep on pulling with the hips back while reaching the fingertips forward. And release again. Lift the head, hands underneath your shoulders. Left arm lifts, inhale, twist, gaze up. Exhale, thread the left arm underneath your right, reach far, bring the side of the head and shoulder down. Maybe wrap your right arm around the back. You can always keep your right hand on the mat as well if you need a little bit more support. Hips lifted, close your eyes. Breathing deeply into the stretch in your outer left shoulder. Inhale. And exhale out. One more breath here. And release. Right hand next to the head. Press through the hand and twist. Both hands underneath the shoulders. Both knees on the mat. Tabletop position. Tuck the toes. Lift the hips up and back and find downward facing dog. Let's take a moment just to walk it out. Bend one at a time, pedaling the heels a little bit further down. Feel the stretch in the back of your leg. Head relax. Eventually come to your full downward facing dog. Rest the palms into the mat. Create length in your spine. Tailbone pointing up high. Shift the weight into your right foot. Lift the left leg up behind your three-legged dog. Driving the left heel up high. Inhale. Bend the left knee. Exhale. Pull the left knee forward to the chest. And then step the foot through in between your hands. Find your low lunge. Right knee on the mat. Flatten the toes. Inhale, lift the arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, push the hips further forward and down. Create length in the side body. Keep on reaching through the fingertips. Maybe gaze upwards. Feel the stretch in your right hip extender. Slowly release the arms. Take the fingertips onto the mat and find half moon. Kick your right leg up, stack the hips on top of each other. Left fingertips stay on the mat. Right arm reaches up towards the ceiling. Stack the hips. Open the chest towards your right side. Maybe turn the head. Gaze upwards. Lighten up through the fingertips. Inhale. Exhale, hold that balance in the left leg. Pull the right knee to the chest. Come to standing. Tree pose. Bringing the sole of the right foot towards the inner thigh. Hands in front of the heart. Press through the left leg. So left leg long. Imagine you're having roots going deep into the ground. And then pull the right knee forward to the chest again. Inhale. Exhale, warrior three, take the right leg back, create a letter T with the body, just one more inhale, exhale, step the right leg back, high lunge, right heel still lifted, hips are facing forward, reach through the fingertips again, make sure the shoulders are over the hips and the weight is equally balanced in both legs, inhale, Exhale, spin the right toes out, warrior two. Arms in line with the shoulders. 
Make sure the left knee is in line with your left ankle. Inhale, reach your left arm forward. Exhale, find peaceful warrior. Bend back, right hand on the back of the right leg. Left arm reaches up to the ceiling. Gaze up, inhale. Exhale, wheel both hands down. Lift the right heel, simple twist. Inhale, left arm lifts. Gaze up towards the ceiling. Rotate the chest. Find a nice deep twist. One more inhale, exhale, side plank, take the left leg back, stack or stagger the feet, push the hips up high, engage the side body, feel the burn, inhale, exhale, release the hands, plank pose, inhale, come to the tippy toes, exhale, chaturanga, release all the way down, flatten the toes, inhale, lift the head and chest, come to a cobra, and exhale, release the forehead back down. Inhale, lift the head and chest. Exhale, release. Taking a few more breaths like this, warming up the lower back. Pressing through the hands, feel the chest opening and feel the movement in your spine. Inhale, lift up last time. Stretch through the arms, let the head drop back. Cobra pose. Draw the shoulders back, open the chest, inhale, and exhale, bend the knees, stretch back, child pose. Let the hips sink down to the heels, resting the forehead on the mat, reaching through the fingertips, breathing deeply into the belly. Inhale, and exhale out. Taking one more deep breath here and then slowly release. Lift the head and the hips, tuck your toes under, downward facing dog. Press through the hands, long spine, head relaxed, gaze between the legs. One more deep breath here. And then shift the weight into your left foot, right leg lifts up behind you, three-legged dog. Drive your right heel up high, point the toes, create length. Inhale, bend the right knee, exhale, pull the knee forward to the chest and then step the foot through in between your hands, low lunge. Inhale as you lift the arms up. And exhale, let your hips sink forward and down. Create length through the side body. Maybe keep the gaze up to the ceiling. Release your arms. Half moon. Lift the left leg. Right fingertips on the mat. Find that balance. Stack the hips on top of each other. Lifting the left arm up to the ceiling. Maybe gaze upward. Hold that balance. One more breath. Gaze down. Pull the left knee to the chest, lifting the upper body core engaged. And then find your tree pose. Bring the sole of your left foot to the inner thigh or the inner shin bone. Hands in front of the heart. Focus on a spot in front of you. Keep on pressing through the standing leg. Imagine you are having roots going deep into the ground. One more breath here. Pull the left knee forward. Inhale. Exhale, warrior three. Slowly take your left leg back. Create that letter T with your body. Keep the chest open. Press through the standing leg. Just one more breath here. And then step it back. High lunge. Inhale as you lift the arms and exhale, let the hips sink forward. Keep the weight equally balanced in both legs. Strong core. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Open the arms in line with the shoulders. Keep the gaze through the right fingertips. And in your mind, you're pressing the right knee a little bit outwards, opening up the hips. 
shoulders relaxed, one more breath, inhale reach your right arm forward, exhale lean back, peaceful warrior, left hand on the back of the left leg, reach back with your right hand, gaze up to the ceiling, create length in your right side body, inhale, Exhale, wheel both hands down, simple twist, left heel lifts, reach the right arm up to the ceiling, rotate the chest, gaze up, breathing deeply in and out, one more breath, reaching up high, side plank, take the right leg back, stack or stagger the feet on top of each other, keep on pushing the hips up, to the ceiling, strong side body, one more breath here, and release both hands on the mat, plank pose, inhale, shift the weight forward, chaturanga, exhale, lower all the way down, release the chest, flatten the toes, inhale, lift the head and chest into baby cobra, squeeze the buttocks and try to lift the palms off of the mat. So your lower back is doing all the work. Take the arms back, interlock the fingers behind the back. Lift the chest a little bit higher. Imagine someone is pulling you from the arms. Keep the gaze forward, draw the shoulders back. One more breath. And release. Well done. Forehead to the mat, hands next to the chest. Inhale. Exhale, bend the knees and press back, child pose. Take the knees as wide as the mat. Rest the forehead on the mat, press through the hands, long spine. And use this moment here for yourself. Breathing deeply into the belly. Inhale. And exhale out. One more breath here. And then lift the head, lift the hips, find downward facing dog again. Take a moment, center yourself, pressing through the hands, driving the hips up high, long spine. Shift the weights to your right foot, left leg lifts up, three-legged dog. Inhale. Exhale, bend the left knee, pull the left knee towards your left triceps, strong core, shoulders over the wrists, and then step the foot towards the left edge of the mat. Find lizard pose, right knee on the mat, flatten the toes, make sure the hips are square, bring the left hand onto your left knee and gently press the knee a little bit outwards. Right hand is underneath your right shoulder. Rotate the chest towards your left side and gaze over your left shoulder. Let your right hip become heavy. Maybe bend the right knee and find corkscrew pose. Reach back with your left hand, get hold of the right foot and gently pull the right heel towards the buttocks. Stay in the twist, keep on pushing the hips forward. One more breath. And slowly release. Extend the right leg. Untwist, walk the left foot towards the center of your mat. Tuck the right toes. Lift the right knee. Right hand stays on the mat. With your left hand, try to get hold of your right foot. And draw the heel towards the buttocks into a standing split. Let your upper body fold over the left leg. Right knee is pointing away from you and find yourself folding over the left leg, head relaxed. One more inhale, exhale, half moon, left fingertips down, extend the right leg, stack the hips on top of each other, reach the right arm up, opening the chest towards your right side, lighten up the left fingertip. One more inhale, exhale, step back, warrior two. Again, arms in line with the shoulders. Keep the gaze through the left fingertips, keeping the weight equally balanced in both legs. 
Feel the hips opening. Skandasana. Extend the front leg. Right toes are pointing back. Bend deeply into your right knee and sink into that side lunge. If you need to, you can bring your hands down onto the mat to support yourself a little bit. Keep the weight back. Feel the hips opening. Inhale. Exhale, walk the hands forward, lift the right heel, simple twist. Left arm lifts up to the ceiling, rotating the chest. Inhale and exhale, side plank. Take the left leg back, stack the feet on top of each other and maybe find a tree pose, bringing the left sole of the foot towards the inner thigh. Pushing the hips up high, pressing through the right fingertips. Feel the obliques work. Inhale, exhale, plank pose. Shoulders over the wrists, gaze down to the mat. Inhale, come to the tippy toes and exhale, chaturanga. Release all the way down. Bow pose. From here, lift the head and chest. Bend both knees. Reach back with your hands, getting hold of your feet or ankles. And then kick into your hands. Lifting the chest up high, press back. Maybe lift the knees off of the mat. Squeezing the buttocks. And if it feels good on the abs, rocking a little bit up and down, massaging the abdomen. One more inhale. And exhale, release. Hands next to the chest, inhale and exhale, find your child pose. Well done. Breathing deeply into the belly. Re-energize the body with your breath. Inhale and exhale out. Just take a moment for yourself. One more deep breath here and slowly release again. Lift the head, lift the hips, find downward facing dog. Hips up high. Pressing through the hands, feel the chest opening up towards your thighs. Shift the weight into your left foot. Right leg lifts up behind you, three-legged dog. Driving the right heel up high, keep on pressing through the hands. One more inhale. Exhale, bend the right knee, pull the knee towards your right tricep, strong core. And then step the foot towards the right edge of your mat. Release the left knee down, lizard pose. Left hand underneath your left shoulder. Bring the right hand onto your right knee and gently press the knee a little bit outwards. Gaze over your right shoulder and let your left hip become heavy. Twisting the upper body. Feel the hips opening up. One more breath. And then either stay here or you can find corkscrew. Bend the left knee, reach back with your right hand, get hold of your left foot and gently bring the left heel closer towards the buttocks. Stay in the twist and let the hip sink forward. Breathing deeply in and out, feel the stretch in your left thigh. Let go of the leg again, extend the left leg and walk the right foot towards the center of the mat. Tuck the back toes, lift the back leg up, bend the knee and get hold of your left foot with your right hand now. So the left fingertips stay on the mat. Let your upper body fold over the right leg like a standing split. Left knee is pointing away from you. Shift the weight into your right toes. Let the hips come up high. Half moon. Right fingertips down. Extend the left leg. Reach the left arm up to the ceiling. Stack the hips on top of each other. Try to hold that balance. 
left leg engaged, lighten up the right fingertips, inhale and exhale, step back, warrior two. Arms in line with the shoulders, keep the gaze through your right fingertips, engage the core, keeping the weight equally balanced in both legs. And in your mind, you're pressing the right knee a little bit outwards. Open up the hips. Inhale. Exhale. Skandasana. Extend the front leg. Bend your left knee deeply. Left toes are pointing outwards. And let the hips sink down. Gaze towards the right toes. Maybe flex the right foot. Feel the hips opening up. If you lose balance, you can keep the hands on the mat. Breathing deeply into the stretch. One more inhale. And exhale. Walk the hands forward. Lift the right arm. Simple twist. Open the chest up towards the ceiling. Inhale. And exhale out. Getting ready for side plank, drop the left heel, stack the feet on top of each other, engage the side body and maybe find your tree pose. Right sole of the foot comes to the inner thigh or the shin bone, keep on pushing the hips up high. Strong obliques, inhale and exhale out. Let's take one more breath here, so strong. Inhale and exhale, release both hands on the mat, find plank pose, shift the weight forward, inhale, exhale, chaturanga and come all the way down to the mat. Let's find bow pose one more time. Lift the chin and chest up as if you want to press up into a cobra. And then bend both knees, reach back with your hands and get hold of your ankles or feet. Kick into your hands, lifting the chest up higher, maybe lift the knees off of the mat. Keep on kicking into the hands, open the chest and maybe rocking a little bit up and down, massaging the abdomen. One more big breath here, keep on lifting. And release back down, forehead to the mat, hands next to the chest, inhale, exhale, bend the knees, press back, child pose. Rest the forehead on the mat and take a moment, just breathe. Inhale and exhale out, release any tension from your body. Breathing deeply in and exhale, surrender. Taking one more breath here and then slowly lift the head, lift the hips, find downward facing dog once again. Shift the weight into your right foot, left leg lifts up and this time bend the left knee to open up the hips stack the hips on top of each other left foot falls to your right side the left knee is pointing up high inhale exhale take the left knee across the chest towards your right tricep this time and then extend the left leg broken triangle lift the right arm up towards the ceiling engage the side body pushing the hips up high Optional to maybe lift the left leg off of the floor so you make it a little bit harder. Inhale and exhale, right hand down, flip it around, wild thing. Take the left leg over the right, come onto the ball of the left foot. Take the left arm by your ear, press through the hand, opening up the chest, squeezing the buttocks. One more breath. And release, flip it around, bring the left shin bone onto the mat and find your pigeon pose. Maybe walk the right foot a little bit further away, open up the hips, inhale 
Exhale, sleeping pigeon. Let the upper body fold forward. Rest the forehead either on your hands or on the mat. Close your eyes. Make sure your hips are still square so you feel the stretch in your outer left hip. Inhale and exhale, letting go of any lockage or tension. Relax the face, relax the shoulders and just use the breath to ease into the stretch as you feel your hips releasing further down to the mat. Inhale and exhale out. Take one more breath here and then lift the head, walk the hands towards you, quad stretch, bend the right knee, take the left hand into the center of the mat and then reach back with your right hand to get hold of your right foot, draw the hand over your toes, bend the right elbow and gently press the heel closer towards the butter. Bring the right shoulder forward, square the chest, let your hips still be heavy. One more breath and release. Extend the right leg, tuck the toes under, both hands on the mat, left leg back, downward facing dog. Take a moment, center yourself, head relaxed. One more deep breath here. And then shift the weight into your left foot. Right leg lifts up behind you. Three-legged dog. Bend the right knee. Open the hip. Stacking the hips on top of each other. Press through the right hand. Maybe gaze underneath your right armpit. Driving the right knee up high. Inhale. Exhale. Take the right knee across the chest towards your left elbow. And extend the right leg out. Broken triangle, left arm lifts, left heel down on the mat, engage the side body, push the hips up high and maybe lift the right foot off of the mat. Keep on breathing, press through the right fingertips. So strong. Let's take one more big breath here. And release, left hand down, bend the right knee, flip it around, bringing the right foot over your left leg and find wild thing. Let your right arm fall by your ear, come onto the ball of the right foot, pushing the hips up high, open up the chest, let the head fall back, inhale, exhale, flip it around, right knee comes forward again. Pigeon pose, bringing the right shin bone onto the mat, flatten out the left toes, walking the left foot a bit further back, inhale, exhale, find sleeping pigeon, rest the forehead down, either on the mat or on your hands, close your eyes and breathe into that opening in the right hip. With every exhale, let the hips sink a little bit further down. Inhale and exhale out. Use the breath to stay connected with your body. Become aware of any sensation. And with every exhale, just let go of any tension. Inhale. And exhale out. Let's take one more breath here. And release. Lift the head, walk the hands closer towards you. Upper body comes up. Bend your left knee, right hand in the center of the mat and with your left hand get hold of the left foot. 
pull the heel a little bit closer towards the buttocks. Hips still heavy, square the chest, so bringing the left shoulder forward, keep the gaze towards the front of your mat. Just one more breath here and then release, extend the left leg again, both hands on the mat, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, downward facing dog. Center yourself, relax the head, inhale, lift the head, lower the hips, plank pose, come to the tippy toes, exhale, chaturanga and release all the way down, flatten the toes, inhale to cobra, lift the head and chest, let the head drop back, draw the shoulders back, opening the chest, let your hips be heavy, inhale, Exhale, use the wrist as break, slowly release the head down, this time bend both knees and inhale, press back up to your cobra. Let the head fall back, feel a nice deep backward bend. Just one more breath here. And release again, lower the forehead down, extend the legs, inhale. Exhale, bend both knees, stretch back, child pose. Well done. Forehead to the mat, gently press the palms into the mat, let the hips sink back to your heels. Breathing deeply in and out. Relax the upper body. One more breath. And then lift the head, roll the spine up so you come to seated on the heels. Extend the legs out in front of you, scoop forward towards the front of your mat, bend both knees, knees feet together, engage the core, bring the hands behind the knees, lean back, find that balance point, lift the feet off of the mat, find boat pose. Keep the core tight, maybe reach the arms out in front. And then let the knees come outwards. With middle and index finger, get hold of your big toes. Extend the legs, press the legs a little bit outwards. Hold that balance, keep the core tight. Option to keep the knees bent if you need to. Inhale. Exhale, release, back to boat pose. Maybe extend the legs a little bit more. Just one more breath here and find half boat. Bring the lower back down, extend the legs, keep the legs hoovering, shoulders are lifted. Feel the shake in the core, option to bring the arms over the head, half boat. Just two more breaths and release, well done. Head and shoulders relax. Close your eyes and just find the breath here again, your natural breath. Inhale and exhale out. Bring the arms back by your sides. Bend your right knee and pull the right knee towards the chest, opening up the hip. Rotate your right ankle. First to one side and then to the other side. Come to a stop again. Let's find a spinal twist. Right arm comes shoulder width away from your body. Inhale and then exhale. Let your right knee fall over to your left side, stacking the hips on top of each other. Gaze over your right shoulder and just let your shoulder plates melt down into your floor. Inhale and exhale out. Feel the hips coming on top of each other. Notice the rotation in your lower back. Let yourself be happy. Relaxing the face and just let the body surrender to the ground underneath you. 
one more breath here and release bring the right knee back towards the chest one more big breath here pull the knee towards you and then extend your right leg out let's change the legs left knee to the chest interlock the fingers and pull the knee a bit closer to your left armpit rotate your left ankle first to one side and then to the other side Coming to a stop again, left arm shoulder width away from your body, inhale, exhale spinal twist, left knee folds over to your right side, stack the hips on top of each other and let your head fall to the left side, keeping the right hand on the left leg for some extra grounding. Close your eyes. Use the breath to stay connected with your body. Inhale and exhale out. If thoughts are cure, just let them come and go like clouds floating in the sky. Taking one more breath here and slowly release, pulling the left knee back towards the chest. One more breath. And release, extending both legs out onto the mat, center yourself. Bend both knees again, lift the feet off of the mat, let the knees fall outwards, find happy baby pose, arms between the legs, wrapping middle and index finger around the big toes, pull the knees towards the armpits and let your feet fall out wide. If it feels okay on your spine, you can rock a bit from side to side, massaging the back. Feel a nice release in your lower back. One more breath here. Maybe let the feet fall out even wider. And release again. Placing both feet onto the mat and let your knees fall outwards, creating a diamond shape with your legs. Soles of the feet together. Bring the hands onto your upper thighs and then press the hands into your thighs as if you want to separate the legs from the upper body. Feel the stretch in the upper body. One more breath here, pressing down onto the thighs and release again. Both arms over the head, create length in your upper body. Close your eyes. Return to your deep yoga breath. Feel the stretch through the shoulders. Inhale. And exhale, become heavy. Feel all the meeting points between the body and the floor. Feeling the back of your hands and the floor. The back of your head and the floor, shoulder plates and the floor, the buttocks and the floor, the outer arch of the feet and the floor, feeling all those points evenly, inhale and exhale out. Slowly release again, bring your knees back together, lift the feet off of the mat, hug the knees into the chest and lift the head and shoulders, make yourself very small like a ball, squeeze the knees towards you, release the head back down and then let go of the legs. Let's find our final pose, Shavasana. Make yourself as comfortable as possible. Let your feet fall outwards. Arms away from your body, relax the shoulders down. Palms of your hands are facing up towards the ceiling. Close your eyes. Return to your deep yoga breath. 
breathing deeply in through the nose and exhale slowly out. Let the effects of today's practice soak into your body. Inhale and exhale out. Surrender to the ground underneath you. Imagining your body sinking deep into the ground. And with each breath, just let that feeling of peace and harmony overcome you. Starting from the crown of your head, all the way down to your toes. Inhale. And exhale out. Relaxing the head, the top of the head, back of the head. Relaxing the face and all facial muscles. Relaxing the forehead eyebrows, eyes and eyelids, relaxing the nose and nostrils, the cheeks, mouth, bringing the tongue to the bottom of the mouth. Relaxing the neck and shoulders. Upper arms, elbows, lower arms. Relaxing the wrists, hands, back of the hands, palms, and each finger. Relaxing the chest and the abdomen. Upper back, lower back, the spine. Relaxing the hips and hip joints. Upper legs, knees, lower legs, ankles. And finally the feet. The top of the feet, the sole, and each toe. Your whole body is completely relaxed. Your whole body is completely relaxed. Awareness of breathing and awareness of relaxation. Inhale and exhale out.
Slowly prepare to release your Shavasana. Start to deepen your breath. Become aware of your physical existence. Feel your body as it is lying in complete stillness on the floor. Feel the breath traveling through the body. Inhale and exhale out, feeling refreshed, rebalanced and energized. Enjoy a few more moments of silence, of peacefulness. And then slowly introduce some small movements back into your body. Wiggling the fingers, toes and start stretching yourself a little bit. Become aware of the present. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice today. I hope you enjoyed the class and see you next time. Namaste.